Hi, I am Dr. Lukman, your colorectal surgeon, and I'm here to explain about colon and rectal diseases. In this series, I'll be talking about colon and rectal cancer, piles of hemorrhoids, diverticular disease, and anal fistulas. But before we start on that, let us ask a few basic questions. What is the colon and rectum? And what do they do? The colon is also known as the large intestines or large bowels and is placed in the abdomen. Now let's look at the colon itself. The length depends on the gender and the height. It measures about 150 centimeters or 5 feet. The colon is divided into several parts. The part that goes upwards is called the ascending colon, and then it moves to the left, that's called the transverse colon. It comes down, it becomes the descending colon, then the sigmoid colon, and finally, the last part of the colon is called the rectum. Now let us look at the function of the bowel. When we eat and drink, the food is absorbed in the bowels and the colon functions to absorb most of the water that we drink. Finally, let's look at the function of the rectum. The function of the rectum is like a storage space. Imagine it to be like a bucket of water. When the bucket is full with water, it tells our brain that it's time to go to the toilet. The rectum also contains the muscles that control our continents without which we will not be able to control when and where we should go to the toilet. Now that we know a little bit about the colon, it is worthwhile to know that because it is so long, diseases can happen anywhere throughout its length. That's all for this introductory video. If you have any questions, please email me at the email above. My next video will be on colon and rectal cancer. Stay tuned. Have a good day. Bye-bye.